The Day My Mom Came to Kindergarten by Maureen Fergus and Mike Lowry. My awesome backpack. I liked kindergarten from the very first day. It was better than a dinosaur museum, a circus, and a super duper mega three scooper ice cream sundae. My mom was happy for me, of course, but I got the feeling she was a little sad that I was growing up and starting to have adventures without her. So one morning when I was standing in line outside the kindergarten door, instead of saying goodbye, I asked if she'd like to come inside. Beep beep. She was so excited that she completely forgot her manners and tried to barge in at the front of the line. I'm sorry, Mom, but you need to go to the back of the line, I said. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair to the rest of us. Hey, huh? Then, because I didn't want her to feel bad, I added, Don't worry. Everyone makes mistakes at first. You'll be fine if you just watch me and do what I do. Huh. She promised she would. But I guess she forgot her promise, because she walked right into the classroom without even taking off her outdoor shoes. My teacher, Miss Baudry, was nice about it. I was shocked. Who did mom think was going to clean up the muddy footprints she'd made on Miss Baudry's nice, clean floor? Mom, I whispered as we settled into the carpet for our letter of the day activity. School is nicer for everyone if you try to be considerate of others. She promised she would make an effort. Does anyone know a word that starts with the letter D? But I guess she forgot that promise too, because the very next minute she shouted out the answer to Miss Baudry's question without raising her hand. Dinosaur! I mashed my lips together to try to keep from making a groaning noise, and my face got so red that I pulled my whole head inside my shirt. Mm. My mom looked down into my shirt where my head was and apologized for not waiting her turn to speak. I peeked up at her and pointed out that she wasn't paying attention to Miss Baudry. Talking while Miss Baudry is talking, I whispered. Very embarrassing, Mom. It was hard to believe that she had ever been to kindergarten. She didn't even know the basics. Our rules. Listen, raise your hand, clean up, no outdoor shoes, be polite, and always follow directions. For the rest of the day, it was one thing after another. Mom remembered to take off her outdoor shoes after we visited the play structure, but forgot to put them neatly in her cubby. She dropped crumbs everywhere during snack time and tried to leave the table without cleaning them up. Hey! When we were in the library, she kept forgetting to use her indoor voice, and she talked to me all through story time. Shh! Whee! She swung on the jungle ropes during gym class when we were supposed to be playing bing bag tag. During music class, she went to the bathroom without asking permission and then dawdled so long on her way back that she missed her turn on the bongo drums. And when she was having trouble with the scissors during craft time, she made a loud huffy noise and slammed them down on the table. Humph. I was at my wit's end. I didn't know how Miss Baudry could stand it. But Miss Baudry said I should remember that mom had never been to our class before. Sometimes it takes a little while to get comfortable with something new, she reminded me with a smile. Once your mom gets used to the way we do things, I'm sure she'll learn how to express her thoughts and feelings in more appropriate ways. We agreed that we should give mom a little more time to figure things out. And I'm glad we did because guess what? She got a lot better after that. During playtime, she wanted to use the blocks to build a skyscraper. But because everyone else wanted to build a castle, she agreed to help. And later on, when the glue poured out too fast and ruined all the shapes she was trying to stick to the activity page, she didn't make a single huffy noise or slam the glue bottle down. I'm proud of how hard you tried today, Mom, I told her as we were getting ready to go home. You can come back tomorrow if you want. Thank you, honey, she replied. But I think it would be better if I only came back to visit once in a while. I can tell from the size of the chairs around here that kindergarten is meant for people much littler than me. And besides, kindergarten is hard work. That's true, I agreed, but it's worth it. It sure is, she said as she shoved her tissue paper craft into her purse.
Even so, I think I'll stick to working hard at something meant for people who sit on regular sized chairs. You know, something that I'm already pretty good at. I thought about this and then said, you're really good at being a mom, mom. She said I was really good at being a kindergartner, crumpled some important notes from Miss Baudry into her pocket and gave me a big hug. As I hugged her back, I whispered, now please take your place in line, mom. Miss Baudry won't dismiss us until you do. Oops, 